Now I'll show you how to put the UMD drive into the new one. So what you do this is the same thing just in reverse. How you do this is exactly the opposite. You see the ribbon cable, you insert it through that slot right there. So that it comes out to the other side. You can take this ribbon cable, insert it through that hole. So it sits nicely. Make sure you line up the four holes where the screws go. Okay, let's check the other side. Make sure everything's in the right place, which they are. Now, you replace the four screws to hold the UMD reader in place. Okay, screwed that down after so long. <laughs> I probably should just fast forward over this. Anyway, now you're going to want to put your door back onto the... to cover your UMD. Now, first of all, you want to make sure that you have your metal hinge thing in the door first. I find it easier if you do this first, but you don't really have to. Okay, so... Just basically line it up at the bottom and just slide it forward so it stays. Okay, now installation is basically the same thing. You push the right, the leftmost side, sorry, the leftmost side in first because it has a more shallow, I mean, deeper, like, notch for the door. And on the sec, on the other side, push that in second. Oop, make sure you have everything lined up. Okay. And it's the same process, just give it a little push to the right, left, sorry, to the left, till it falls into place. Now, you have to put back the door hinge thingy, the UMD holder. Oop, came out. Okay, so just put that there. This is why I push it up while you're attaching the door of the UMD case so you don't accidentally like push it down so it comes out again. But basically, you're going to want to put it back the same way you took it out. So, just place the notches over the thingies that stick out. I don't know what they're actually called, so I'm calling them thingies. And then you take your tweezers again, you can reuse these rubber blocks that you had, that you took out of the old one, or you can just get new ones. Usually if you buy a case, they come with them. But if it doesn't, then, you know, save the old parts. Zoom in on that, there you go. So just place the rubber block in there. Okay, make sure it stays. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay, make sure it stays. Alright. Now, you're going to have to reattach the spring to um, give your UMD door that snap when you open and close it. Okay. So how you do that is basically the opposite of what you did to disassemble it. Take your spring, which is right here. Firstly, I should probably zoom in on that. Okay, here we go. So, you take your spring, take the shorter end. Oh, that's rough. Take the shorter end and put it 
through the hole right here. And so it slides into there. Okay, put it through that hole. Put it through that hole. And so it slides through that little plastic holder thingy. Now, for the long part, you're going to want to use something to like hold it down because this is under a lot of spring tension. Okay. So you just take this, press it down. So basically you're compressing the spring and push it until you line it up with a hole on the battery door, um, the UMD door, sorry. This is the hardest part of the whole thing, so take some patience. Oh. Sorry, this is really awkward to do it around a camera. Again, I'll probably just fast forward over this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna come around the camera here. Spring tension is a very real thing. All right, yay, got it. Whew. All right, basically the final product after so much hard work and struggle looks like that. Now, to keep the spring in place, you take this little plastic piece right here and you put it right behind the spring. So what you do is slide this notch into that part right there. Point with something pointy. Into that part right there. You can do it with your hands, and then just snap the other side into there, so it stays. Oops. There you go. So you a nice click, and you are done with installing the UMD. Fabulous.